I have already explained how to get free access to S4HANA 1709 in another video, but I did not explain how to get the Fury access, which is a very important part of the S4HANA experience. This is actually very easy. All you have to do is to follow the instructions in the user's guide that you can find once you install your instance. There is a section called mapping your local hosts file. So step number one is to open Notepad as administrator. For me, I prefer to use Notepad++, but it's going to be the same. Then click on File, Open, and you have to open your hosts file. If you know where the file is, you can open it. Otherwise, you can copy the path from the guide, and the path is the same for everyone. Then go to the end of the hosts file. In the user's guide, you are going to find some lines that you have to copy and paste in the hosts file to be able to map your IP addresses. In these lines, you have to mention the IP addresses for your S4HANA instance. So following the instructions, you can find the IP addresses in the S4HANA instance in the SAP Cloud Applications Library. So you have to copy two IP addresses one for them is for the SAP S4HANA 1709 and the HANA database. And the other is for the SAP NetWeaver 7.5. And this is all. Now we can try to launch the Fury website. You can find the link to the Fury website in the user's guide, so I'm going to open it in a new tab. Now it may take some time, then you are going to get a warning that the website is not secure. You can pass this warning, it's okay. Once you get to the login page, you can enter the username and the password. So I'm going to use the default one that was provided in the user's guide. For finance, it is s4h underscore fin and the password is welcome one. You can find all the user IDs and passwords in the user's guide. Then click on Login. And it may take some time to start in the first time, but I'm going to skip forward through this so I can show you how the Fury looks like. So this is the web-based interface for SAP S4HANA. It can work on PCs, laptops, or any device. You can also save the link to the Fury website in your SAP GUI. Go to Favorites. Right click, add a new object, web address or file. Then you can put any text you want and put the address and this is it. Now whenever you want to log into Fury, all you have to do is to double click on this link. Now you have access to S4HANA 1709 and also you have access to Fury. In the next videos, I'm going to start demonstrating the different business process cycles on S4HANA 1709. If you are interested, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel to get notified whenever I upload a new video.